Well, not as far as what we would hope to be. Uh, maybe we're never satisfied, uh, but uh, we came back today and had a decent practice. Uh, the last two scrims we've had uh, weren't very good uh, for us overall. Uh, you know, we've made some plays, we've made some stops, we've had some turnovers, all those things you, you're trying to get done, but we haven't been consistent enough uh, with our play. Uh, you know, we've had our bright spots and we've had some dark spots in there too, so uh, I don't think any of us players or our coaches are satisfied at this point with what we've accomplished this spring. I'd like to see them line up right, uh, play the defense call, you know, uh, play with a lot of enthusiasm and be very smart football players. If we can get that out of them on Saturday, uh, I'll feel like we've accomplished something because, uh, you know, we're going to be kind of vanilla Saturday. And uh, so they line up, uh, read their keys, and go play football. And they don't have to think. And uh, so that's, our, that's what we want to accomplish. And the main thing is coming out with not any injuries. Uh, so, uh, knock on wood, you know, that's, that's important. Uh, Jevin's improved. Uh, he's still got a long way to go. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, the kid works hard and uh, has made some improvement. Uh, the biggest thing he's got to do, you know, you put him in a drill, he does fine. You put him in, when the bullets start flying, he's got 10 other people around him. Uh, then that's when he's got to stay calm and collective and, and do the things that it takes to play when, when you're not in a drill over there, and that's, that's where he is right now. So he is probably, if I had to say there's three guys who has made the most impro uh, improvement this spring, he'd be one of the three. Hmm. And I don't know who the other two are. But he's, uh, he's on the list? He, he's on the list. He's on the short list. Yeah. He, he's got to uh, learn to play football with knees bent and pads down and uh, be, uh, you know, physical on tight ends and uh, – Go, you know, a hundred, you know, go, hundred percent every snap and quit guessing. He's kind of like Jevin, Mitchell. Mm -hmm. you know. Uh, he does fine in drills and things like that, and he's a he's a freshman also. So, but you put eleven or ten other people out there, you know, it just hadn't clicked for him yet. But it will, it will. He, he he's willing, just like Jevin is, and uh, he'll come. But I mean, if he just realized how good he could be. Uh, he'd probably be over here 24 hours a day trying to get there. <laughs> He's light years away right now from, you know, catching on and doing all the right things. Now, he, he's got some ability. Uh -huh. You can see it. it, it once he zones in on a play, and uh, he, can, he can do some things. Uh, he's got a lot of potential, you know. Uh, it's, it's been going good. Uh, I've been learning a lot from uh, Jake and AJ and my coaches, and uh, I just feel like every day I'm improving a little bit more on something, trying to focus on uh, one extra little thing uh, to improve on every day. I think it's uh, really good to get out there with the ones and, you know, uh, play with uh, a little bit more of experienced guys. I mean, I, I would get reps with the twos, obviously, and I think I'd get close to the same amount as reps, but it's just good to get out there and, you know, be a one and, you know, uh, just try to set an example. Like I feel like uh, Jake and AJ are leaders, but like when you're, when you're a one, you know you you feel like a leader kind of too, and people will look up to. He's, he's the linebackers are defensive quarterbacks, you know, on our team, and uh, he knows. Like if I go ask him, like, well, what's the safety doing on this play, or what's going on? Like he knows everyone's positions, and he knows in certain situations when to do certain things. Uh, when we're watching film, when he's playing, like. Like, he, he'll, he won't make a mistake. He knows why he did certain things, and uh, he's just a playmaker. And, I mean, he's the smartest guy, one of the smartest guys on our team. So. It's been a pretty hard, you know, adjustment for me because, you know, I've been I've been out for two years. But, um, I, like I told him, my main focus right now is just more more getting in the film room and trying to get the game to, to click for me. So, I mean, the spring has been going all right. I haven't said I had a – I, I haven't had a – the best spring that I could have, but I, I have more time to work on it, I feel like it. But my main goal right now is just mainly just getting lined up right and just focusing on one play at a time. But throwing the pads on the helmet, I'm used to the pads and the helmet right now. So the main thing is just more getting in the film room and get a clip for me. Um, right now it's just, you know, I'm just taking it one day at a time. It's kind of been a, um, a fast process for me, but, you know, I just focus on one day at a time and try to get better, you know, to just focus. If it's Wednesday, I'm going to focus on that day and don't worry about tomorrow.
just focus on that day and just try to stay in the film room and get better.